Hi beauty babes and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a new tag video and the tag is going to be my A to Z of makeup. Yep, my A to Z. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you my makeup in alphabetical order, starting from A all the way through to Z and all the makeup that I have corresponding to that letter. Now, I've got to say, this has been hard going. It really has been hard going. But 26 items that I use or love or own. And uh, yeah, so let's get into the intro. So yeah, for this video I have written down all of my makeup in alphabetical order that I really like and I have some of it here with me now and I'm going to go through it all with you and I'm going to tell you what my A to Z of makeup is. Oh, is. So please grab a cuppa, sit down and please tag any of your beauty influencers that you really love to do this tag also because I think it's a really interesting one to do. I haven't seen it anywhere so I've seen ABCs of makeup and it's not quite the same as doing a full A to Z. So yeah, let's see if we can get this one trending shall we? Yeah right. Okay so A, I'm going to start off with A. So there are so many products I could start off with a, I mean obviously you've got Anastasia Beverly Hills, all that. I didn't really want to use the branding or what to use the name of the products, but obviously in some instances that is going to be the case. Now, for A, I'm actually using the Amreezy palette, the, uh, the Amreezy highlighter from ABH which is like one of my most favourite all-time highlighters. It is just absolutely beautiful. It is gorgeous. I mean, yeah, it is like everybody's goals. Everybody's goals. So, yeah, for A, we have Amreezy by ABH. Okay, so for B, we have... Oh, it's actually a bronzer, um, and it's both... For, we have a bronzer and it is by Physicians Formula. It is the Butter Bronzer by Physician for by <laughs> Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer is in B. Um now oh, I just sniff that and it smells of coconut. It is just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. It's such a lovely bronzer, it's such a lovely product. I'm so happy that you can actually now buy this in boots. Um, in the UK because for a long time we couldn't get really get hold of it over here in the UK but it, C we have concealer um, but this is actually the camo concealer by e.l.f. now I haven't had this long but whoa, I am a total fan it really does a good job of lighting up under the eyes and it gives your skin this really illuminous glow as well. Now I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but it does. It feels really, really nice. It blends out really nice. It's probably my favourite concealer. Um, it's just it's just so pretty and so good and so affordable too at £5. So yeah. For C, we have Camo Concealer. So we're now into D, um, and for D, I'm using another Anastasia Beverly Hills product. I do apologise, I do have quite a lot of ABH, I do like ABH. But we have the Dip Brow. Now, this was the original Dip Brow that everybody then copied. I mean, it is just a fantastic little product. Um, I've had this a while now. It hasn't dried out on me. It is still very, very good to use. Um, I really like this product. It's like one of my favourite go-to brow products when I'm not on camera. So yeah, D is for dip brow pomade. For E, I have Edwards. Okay, I suppose I'm che cheating a little bit here, but I'm not really. It's for Alyssa Edwards, again, ABH. Um, this is the Alyssa Edwards 
palette that she done or he done. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> and there we go. There we go. There's the drop. There's the drop. We are four minutes in and we have the drop already. It's great, isn't it? It's great. I love this. I love my job. Um, okay, so yes, the Alyssa Edwards palette, which is just absolutely beautiful. So we've got some beautiful blues, purples, yellow, pink. It's gorgeous. It really is. I haven't really had a lot of chance to play with this, but oh, she is just beautiful. She really is beautiful. So my E is Edwards for Alyssa Edwards. We have a Morphe palette. And this is 3503 and it's fierce by nature. <laughs> Everything's dropping on the floor. So this is the fierce by nature palette. And as you can see, I have used this rather a lot. I do like this palette. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I love the reds. I love the pop of green in there as well. And I love the glitter in there. It's a gorgeous palette. It's probably my most used Morphe palette. Um, and I do really, really like her. She's great. You can get a good neutral look out of it. You can get a great smoky eye out of it. You can get a nice bold colouring out of it. It's just lovely. It's just beautiful. And yeah, so my F is Fierce by Nature by Morphe. Okay, everybody. So now we have G. So for what have we got for G? Well, for G, we have Gone Rogue, which is by Lois Cosmetics. Now, Gone Rogue is a lovely eyeshadow palette, as you can see, really lovely and colourful, very affordable to at $19.99, um, available at Lois Cosmetics. I have used this a bit, as you can see. This is one of my most favourite palettes that I own. I really love this. This glitter colour in here, Gone Rogue, is just so, so pretty. Um, this hasn't been out long. This only came out just before the pandemic hit the UK in March um so yeah it is a beautiful palette so yeah for G we have gone rogue for H okay this time I am using a brand name I wonder if you can guess what it is for H I'm using Huda and this is the remastered gold rose gold palette this is just gorgeous I really like this palette it is just so beautiful these shimmers here are just like they are so perfect they really are perfect um I'm totally and utterly in love with this palette and it's like one of my ride or dies now I just can't get over how gorgeous the shimmers are in this and they just look so beautiful on the lid I don't know if you can really see that or not but it is absolutely beautiful. Let's just pop that on. It doesn't necessarily swatch the greatest, but when you pop it on your lid, oh, it is just, mwah, it is just gorgeous. So there we go. We've got H is for Huda. So next up we have I. Now I is quite a difficult one to do, but I recently picked up a new foundation by Il Maquillage. So this is going to be branding. Um, the foundation is absolutely gorgeous. It's what I've got on now. It is just a stunning, stunning, stunning foundation. I really love this. It's about £34, so it is quite expensive. Um, but yeah, I is for Il Maquillage. Okay, so now J. I wonder what we've got for J. It is Jaclyn Hill, actually. This is not her original palette. This is palette number two, volume two. This I do actually prefer out of the two. I absolutely love this. This is such a gorgeous palette. Um, there are so many colours in there to use. It swatch is absolutely beautiful. The vibrancy of these are just lovely. The mattes, the shimmers are just amazing i mean the gold color is one of the best golds i've ever used it is absolutely gorgeous um and that is called talia it is just such a stunning stunning it's palette it just so photogenic as well obviously when it's new and clean so yep j we have jacqueline hill it's so for k um again k was quite a difficult one to do but i had a highlighter a highlighter by kylie so Kylie Cosmetics, Kylie Jenner, uh, a highlighter. I mean, 
This I picked up when I was in America. Now supposedly this is the same formula as Colourpop, but I don't know because I've never tried a Colourpop um, illuminator before, highlighter, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So for K we have Kylie. Okay, so K for Kylie. So after K we have L. And for L, we have Luminoso Blusher, which is by Milani. Now, I've got no, nothing on this that says who it's by, because it's so old now. I've been using this for so much. But it is such a good, such a good blusher. It is just absolutely beautiful. I really love that. And I wear this virtually daily. Um, and as you can see, even though I've been wearing it daily, I still have loads of the stuff left. It's like... It's going to be forever before I hit pan on it. It's just amazing. It's one of my most favourite blushes ever. So we have L. So next up, we have M. So what have I got for M? Have you got any guesses what I've got for M? It is Modern Renaissance. Again, by ABH. I mean, this must be just the A to Z of ABH. Um, yeah, Modern Renaissance. Now, as you can see, mine has been battered and bruised about. I haven't hit pan on any of them, but not surprising, I have so many eyeshadows. Um, I absolutely love the Primavera colour. It is such a beautiful, beautiful colour, and it makes such a gorgeous highlight on your eyes. It is just beautiful. But this was the palette to change all palettes, bringing in these reds certainly did change the neutral look so yeah the very very original modern palette modern renaissance we can't forget modern renaissance can we next up we have n and again it's going to be sorry another abh product um it's going to be the norvina palette this is number one um i have number two as well but this is norvina number one um, just look at those colours in there, they are just absolutely beautiful. Um, I have more eyeshadow palettes than I do anything else, so that is why I have more eyeshadow shadow palettes to show you in the A to Z. But yep, yeah, this is N, and it is the Norvina palette. And she's a beaut. She's a beaut. Very expensive as well. She... have O. Now, O was a little bit difficult for me. Um, and then I remembered, oh my goodness, no, that wasn't my O, but yeah, oh my goodness, can you, can you guess what it is yet? So for O, we have NARS Orgasm, yep, the blusher, the most famous blusher that there is, and that is Orgasm. Um, now I've got to say, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful colour, but it's not my most favourite, it tends to be... The quality of it isn't as good as what I was expecting it to be for its money. I love it. I wear it a lot. But I was ex I was expecting it to be better for its money. But yes, O is for orgasm. Ah! Yeah. Next up, after O, obviously, is P. So for P, I have Paint Pot by MAC. And this is actually in Paint Tilly. So, yeah, this is such a good good eyeshadow base um i love the paint in the color it is just beautiful and also a tip the elf putty primer for eyes in rose is absolutely identical so it is a good primer to use but it is just absolutely beautiful such a lovely color um i use the soft ochre as well but the paint in seems to be more of a cool look so if you're going for a cool look the painted is really good if you want a warm look soft oak is a soft oak is really nice and obviously blending in with whatever your skin tone is mine changes daily depending on the foundation we're all a bit nuts we're all a bit nuts here so yeah p is for paint pot painterly q now q was the most difficult one actually no it wasn't x is the most difficult one but we'll go there in a minute Q was really, really difficult, um, but I did get some product from AliExpress recently, um, and the brand that I got was Kai Best. So, Kai Best. This is a lipstick, or a liquid lip, um, and I got this for a specific reason. It's actually black, 
and I needed a proper black lipstick for Halloweeny looks. So I will just show you. So there you go, that is her. Um, nothing on the bottle, it is just a straightforward black lipstick. Um, I've got another colour as well. And I've also, I think I've also got a mascara by these guys. So yeah, Kai Best, Q Best, Qui Best, whatever. So that is my cue. That we have R. So R we have Rose Metal, also by Lois Cosmetics. You guys know how much I love this palette, it's absolutely beautiful. It is just stunning. Um, the Rose Metal colour itself is just beautiful. Um, this, I mean, as you can see, it has been used and used and used. I really, really love this palette. Again, $19.99 and this is luxury. It is luxury. Um, the mattes in this are just incredible and just so easily to build up and blend. And then we have these most beautiful shimmers as well. That's Evelyn. I mean, it's just absolutely stubborn. Absolutely stubborn. But then I have said that so many times on this channel, how much I really, really love this. So R is for Rose Metal. So next up we have S. Any guesses for S? Oh, go on. You must have something in mind. What did I hear you say? <laughs> right, so for S we have Slush Palette. Um, another one of my absolute favourites. I love this so much. So not only is it S for Slush Palette, but it's also S for September Rose, who made the Slush Palette, who I absolutely adore. I have all her palettes, um, and I've got some highlights by how I use her makeup sponges. She her stuff is absolutely fantastic also black owned as well she's a black lady who is just wonderful and yeah yeah she's just superb so yeah a multitude of colors in there gorgeous pops of shimmer we've got two shimmers there that are beautiful we've got another one over here which is like the orange one and also the lilac one they are just stunning um and also we've got this beautiful like blue white multi sort of tonal it is just stunning there is nothing better as a color palette than there is this it is just flipping beautiful so s is for september rose slush palette t okay do you want the t shall i give you the t the t that i am using is actually t for tilbury in charlotte's tilbury and this particular item is obviously the Pillow Talk lipstick, if I can get into it. I haven't even tried this on yet. Or have I? I don't think I have. No, I don't think I have. So anyway, yeah, Charlotte Tilbury. 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 Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Um, I have lusted after this for so long, it's untrue. It is just beautiful. The packaging is just sublime. I just love everything about it. It's a lovely, heavy product. So yeah, T is for Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury. Next up, U. U was also a hard one to do, but in the end, I went for Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I love this stuff. It is so good. It's just, it's just lovely. I really, really like it. I picked this up when we went to Florida last year and I have no regrets. I actually bought another one afterwards as well when it came up on offer. This is obviously the mini one. It's not the full size, but I really like this. It's such a good set and spray um, and it does help your makeup last. So U is for Urban Decay. Okay, so for V, V was very hard, very hard indeed, but in the end I went for Violet Voss because I have quite a few of their eyeshadow palettes, but because I've got so many eyeshadow palettes in this video, I decided to go with one of their lip glosses instead. Um, and this is one that I had in um, a gift pack with an eyeshadow, and this is called Romantical Lip Gloss, which is a really, really lovely lip gloss. So. Yeah, let's just try that on so you can see what she looks like. I'm not going to put it on over my lips now because I can't see what I'm doing. But there you go, that's what she looks like. It's very, very pretty little lip topper. It is very, very, very pretty in the lights. It's not picking it up very well, but it is it's 
very very sparkly so yeah V is Violet Boss W what are we doing for W? So my W is going to be for Wet and Wild. Now I like Wet and Wild highlighters, especially highlighters are absolutely wonderful. Um, but this is a product that I have recently picked up, and this is the um, Brontor. Um, it is the bronzer um, color icon ticket to Brazil um, bronzer, and this is actually really quite nice because it's sort of like a mixture between a highlighter and a bronzer and a contour it's very very pale um but it is really really nice and um, i do like wet and wild products wet and wild is now available over here in boots and also on beauty bay but obviously you can go in and try stuff in boots so yeah my w is wet and wild now we've come up now to the most difficult one of all which was x i searched Every single product that I had, I even looked online to see if I could find anything that was like X. I was thinking like extreme mascara. Couldn't find anything that, where they'd like titled it extreme and used an X. So in the end, I thought, right, okay, well, what can I do? So in the end, I went with collaboration. Um, because there are so many collaborations out there and they all use the X as the collaboration symbol. And there are so many, but with this one, I'm using the Anwin with You Can Be collaboration, which is cellophane, which is just gorgeous. I mean, look at her. She's just lovely, isn't she? Look at those colours in there. Absolutely beautiful. I am obsessed. I am obsessed. And honestly, I went through every single shade of eyeshadow that I had to get next. And it was like, oh, I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What do I do? What do I do? So yes, X for collaboration. I know he's cheating. You can say it's cheating. If you've got a better idea, then you put it in the comments down below. So after that, we have Y. So we're right near the end of this list now. Now we're gonna have a product that I don't actually like and don't actually use, but it's something that I own. Um, again, why was such a hard one to do so in the end i went with this and she's a bit embarrassed to actually show this but she's going to show it anyway um this is what is it actually called let's get it let's get it right let's get the name right so that i don't get into any trouble mood struck 3d fiber lashes by unique sorry by Unique. It's a pro pro product that begins with Y. It was the only thing that I could find was with a Y. So my Y, <laughs> I mean, why would you use this? My Y is for Unique. Honestly, honestly, I never ever, I, I don't even know why I still have this, but I'm glad that I do still have this because otherwise I would still be stuck on a Y. And I would have ended up having to go for a colour in a palette by James, Charles and Morphe. And I really didn't want to do that because I felt like that was a bit of a cop out, to be honest. But there you go. So finally, we are at the last product, the last letter. And we have Z. And for my Z, I'm using Zoeva. And this is for Zoeva brushes. I love Zoeva brushes. These are the two that I own. Oh, I've got so many Zoeva brushes have to um i have the this one is the 134 lux powder fusion brush which is absolutely fantastic for getting on that highlight but it's also really good it's a really good big fluffy brush that you can use on your eyes and then this one here that's the 22 224 lux defined crease brush now this has had so much use it's unbelievable it's like really good at getting in that crease just absolutely amazing i really love this brush i really love this brush it is just like so well used so that is my z zoeva so there you go those are my 26 products that are my a to z of makeup so 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, please share and please also subscribe if you haven't been to my channel before and click the notification button so that you'll get notified of any videos that I do. Tag all your favourite influencers to see if we can get them to do the A to Z of my makeup and get this tag going. Why not? Why not? I just think it would be such fun to do. So anyway, I should have said B is for beauty babe, shouldn't I? I never thought of that. Never thought of that. B is for beauty babe. <laughs> anyway, beauty babes, I will see you in the next video. You take care and um, yeah, just be good and enjoy yourself and stay safe and all that jazz. Anyway, love you lots. I'll see you later. See you in the next video. Ta-ta for now. Bye.